some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Hi, I'm Merrick D'Amato. And I'm Classic Gamer. And happy Halloween. Well, Halloween. Welcome back to Let's Play I Have No Mouth and I Must Scream. Yes, a game that is very strange. Have you saved? Yes. Good. I can save again, just in case. Well, it should be fine. Just a piece of mine, I'll save again. Now, talk to Golem. Um, no, not that one. That one. Yes. The man caught in the barbed wire said to waken the sleeper. Utter the truth and kiss him. Um. Try time is truth first. Say time is truth. Time is truth. How come that time sounded? All right. Oh, here's the here's out. the order. I I checked it. Here's the order. Golem, wake up. That, that that's what I do next. Yeah. Yeah. That, uh, yep. Gollum, wake up. The truth is that for me it shall always be 1945. That one. The truth yeah. is that for me it shall always be 1945. And kiss the Gollum. There we go. Follow me into the laboratory. Gollum. No, obey Follow all my orders. Follow me into the laboratory. We'll see. Nimdok, I was afraid I had lost you back there. It is good to see you and our new friend. Talk to, talk, talk to Mengele. How did you escape the mob? Did you forget that the compound has a secret escape route? Well, no matter. I see that you have revived the golem. You know about the golem? Of course! Part of the master plan is to strip the lost tribe of everything, even their folklore. Um, I one, looked yeah. into the mirror. I now remember everything with crystal clarity. The research comes, the serum. Ah, yes, the youth serum. Your research demanded the deaths of many children, but your hard work was successful. Eternal youth for those who deserve it. Now I know how Am was able to keep us alive for so many years. Your use serum can sustain us forever. We have all the time we need to resurrect the regime. Excuse me, Doctor. No. I need to get a breath of fresh air. Do you want an explanation of something? Actually, go back and... Mm. Do you want an explanation of something? Go on. Do you know what the mirror is? No. Well, okay, I'm take not... a look at look at the box. Look look take a look see if there's something to read in the box. I do not understand okay, any either. of these papers. Go back into the room. Is there like a book or anything or documents in here to read? Um no, it doesn't look like it. Oh, here. Well, yeah, look at the blueprint. Oh, that's for the golem. Um, there's nothing else in here, though, is there? No, okay, go back. Um, I saw something that looks like a book. Yeah, look look at that thing behind Mengala. Ah. Yeah, look at the teletype. A teletype machine. There is a message in it. A that teletype takes... machine. There is a message in it. Try take, use. It is too heavy. Use, I guess. Oh, well, well, that. 
The message reads, cease all work on Project Perfect Image. Confidential. The leader is dead. Having looked on the face of the future using the prototype device, this leaves the regime ripe for invasion. Destroy all work in progress. This technology must not be allowed to fall into the hands of the enemy. Do you want to know what Project Perfect Image is? Do we find out in a bit, or...? You're holding it. The mirror. Yep. You know what it does? What? Allow yourself to see... Allow yourself to see yourself with perfect objectivity. Okay. What the hell do you think would happen if Adolf Hitler saw himself with perfect objectivity? I... I something bad. That's why he killed himself. Also, what would happen if Vizhou Mengele himself with perfect objectivity? Oh my god! No! Now I'd, I recommend saving. Why am I getting nervous? <laughs> um... Have you ever wanted to kill Dr. Mengele? Uh... No, but I want to now. Have you ever wanted to kill a Nazi scientist? Uh, yes, now you say that, yes. Talk to, talk to the golem. Golem, kill Dr. Mengele. He was a pig. You didn't have to do that, but... Dr. Mengele, you're a bad person if you don't kill him. Follow him out. Yep, follow him outside. Gollum, follow me outside. Now, you have one puzzle left, one choice left to make, and I Lindor, hope I don't need to tell you I what the answer is. I knew that you would lead us to where the regime would resume its atrocities. We are here to make you pay for what you did to us. To pay in blood. You have three options. Um, go to my transfer control of you over to the Lost Tribe. Go to guard the bunker entrance over to the terminal entirely. Go to destroy the Lost Tribe. I'm leaning more towards the middle one. Nah, that, that's that's no, that's neutral. Destroy the Lost Tribe? No! Why would you even consider that? I transfer control over to That's the one. Gollum, yes. I transfer control of you over to the Lost Tribe. So, you admit your crimes. But that does not release you from punishment. Now the Golem will serve the purpose for which it was constructed. Golem, kill Nimdok. You did it! You won! We're not as alike as I thought, Nimdok. Spark of humanity somewhere. Always that wretched little spark. You, you've confronted your past, but you refuse to continue your research. <laughs> That's what I asked you to do. Since you now identify with your victims, I suppose it's only right that I let you experience their tortures too. Who among you shall go next? Well done. You completed the first psychodrama perfectly. How do you feel? <laughs> I feel pretty good, actually. Um, well, I, I'm going to contextualize a few things. Winning, as much as it is possible in this game, means pissing off or disappointing M. Right, okay. Death is objectively a good thing. If it happens in the psychodramas, it doesn't matter. He won't let you die. Um... Bear in mind, all, all these people have been tortured for 103 years. Like, kept alive and just tortured for for, for a century. So, um... Any escape is a good escape. What do you want to do next? Now that you figured out... Like, you had a massive lore dump for the... For well, the 
what's, for the what's story. This, what's this one? That's Ted. What, uh, is he the good one to go with next? Is he, or he is somehow the weakest story in the game, but the main character of the of the original short story. Well, we get him out of the way, I suppose. If you like. Hey, you're my favorite, baby. I mean it. I really can't stand all the rest of these people. Every one of them has some fatal glitch in personality. Whiners, freaks, crips, cowards. Every one of them. But not you, Ted. No, man. Not you, Ted. You were a stand-up guy. You were a brave guy, yes, a take charge kind of guy. So I'm going to give you, just you, the opportunity to get out, live some kind of life. I'm going to send you, you're going to like this, I'm going to send you to the Room of Dark. If you can solve the puzzle of the Room of Dark, you're home free. You out, you're away. I know I've made you a paranoid, Ted. I know you're scared, but I'm your friend. 109 years, I'm your best friend. So overcome your fear. Enter the Room of Dark, and you can solve its mystery. Okay. You want to go in here first? I'll take it. Yep. Oh, don't don't forget to look at stuff too, if you like. Uh, yeah. Let's look at the arrow. The arrow's pointing toward the room of dark. Should I follow it or go the other way? Which is the worst of the two choices? Come on. There we go. Video screens. Each one shows a scene of some other place. Why? What mystery does Am want me to solve? Say, these video screens have palm print switches next to them. Hmm. This looks like the tire swing at the farm I grew up on. What does Am know about my childhood? Is he taunting me? A forest? Not one to go hiking through. This forest is dark, foreboding. Why show me a rooftop? Why not a door? And why this particular rooftop? A castle right out of the Brothers Grimm. I feel like there's something watching me from the windows. I never liked going to the circus. All those clowns with their phony grease paint smiles. You can't tell what they're really thinking. So, where do you want to go? Um... There's only one right answer, the others are all game over. This one? Nope. That one. No. This one. No. That one. No. This one. That's the one. So use the handprint next to it. Like, I know, like, I said I wouldn't hold your hand through this, but... This, this is, like, the least I satisfying game over imaginable. Right brother's grim. So... I feel like there's something watching me from the window. Use the palm print. Use the palm, uh, the scanner. I don't have an option for some reason. Push it then. Try push. Push. What sort of intrigue is Am plotting this time? He's left me here alone. Still, I feel as though I'm being watched. That's us. Hi. Say hi to Ted, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, he looks. Yeah. <laughs> This gargoyle is even larger than those of Penelope's estate in the Hamptons. 
Does Ted sound at all familiar to you? Um. No, but this place kind of like reminds me of an English castle. Yeah, well, more German, but yes. But Ted, don't talk to him. You don't want to talk to him. Like you can't. It's on the stone. I thought maybe you could. Ted reminds me of George Stobart. Why? What? There we go. <laughs> so typical of the castles I've visited in Europe. A beautiful facade disguising ordinary stone. Shut up, Appearances, Ted. everything. It's not the same voice actor, is it? No, probably. Well, I don't know. This A lot of the people in this are largely uncredited. But I don't think it is. Look at stuff. Why, it's Ellen. Did Am tell her that I loved her? Was that the secret he was referring to? We'll go back outside. Look at tapestry. Why, that maiden looks just like Ellen. She seems so sad and so beautiful. So many women have called me their knight in shining armor, but never Ellen. Make sure not. <laughs> uh, you, and this is, you're hardly in the circumstances. Talk to Ellen first. Okay. Oh, Ted, I feel so tired, so weak. Did Am do this to you? Yes. Maybe. I, I can't tell. They whisper in my ear and this bed is so soft. Can you walk? No, I'm too weak. I haven't been out of this bed in ages. Do you know if there's a way to escape from this place? I searched the entire castle grounds before I fell ill. There's no escape for me but death. No, I won't let you die. I can't take this suffering anymore, Ted. The things I've endured help me to die with dignity. Don't let anyone violate me again, not even in death. No, don't go. I need you. We need you. If you really care for me, Ted, bring me my hand mirror. Where is your mirror? I left it on my dressing table. Bring it to me. Perfume bottles, jewelry boxes, but no mirror. Hmm. I'll tell her. Talk to her. Ted, please tell me you found my mirror. I looked on your dressing table. Your mirror's not there. You have to find it, Ted. It's the only thing keeping my stepmother away. And it's the only thing that can finally end my suffering. Why do you want a mirror? My stepmother has been jealous of me ever since she became ugly. She had something to do with my illness. I know it, but she doesn't dare come near me while I have the mirror. Go back to sleep, Ellen. Yes, sleep. That's what I need. All right, we have our quest. Hmm, strange. <laughs> this game is weird. Mm-hmm. There is an evil in this room. I feel it all around me. What's that on the floor? is all over this glass. Something tells me that's not a good thing. I feel a cold draft Ooh, blowing it's, it's across useful. the bed like from an open grave. Fuck, you're too dramatic, Ted. My 
This is a collection of books on the black arts. There must be dozens of volumes. This room is not important yet. This looks like a chapel, but there's something unholy about it. It must be the gargoyles. Take the gold thing. I'm gonna help you with this part because it is in no way fucking self-explanatory. Yeah, a bit like when um, I helped you out with all the, oh, the Monkey Island shit. Yeah. I, I, yeah. Well, like, I, like what I was saying but it, when, we were, when you did those two games, they're not, they're not ones that hold your hand at all. Nope. All right, now you're going to push the door? What, the, what, this one? No, the, the, the big open, the big front door. Oh, okay, that one. Yeah. Right, gotcha. The door won't You'll... close. Look at it. No wonder the door won't close. One of the door hinge pins is missing. Use the icon on the door. It fits almost perfectly. Now push the door. Oh, that's just super. The door now latch push... is broken. Now push the armor. There you go. Now look at the armor. I don't know how good this armor was in battle, but it's certainly doing a fine job of barricading the door. The armor was amazing in battle because it basically made knights invincible. <laughs> well, well armor, from, from exterior armor like that threat. didn't actually make um, people with, like not be killed. It was the chainmail underneath. Hmm. Um, go back Here's the other. There's nope. Oh, well, you can, in. but you nope. You don't want to go in here. Not yet. You don't need anything in there yet. You don't need anything in there yet. Other door. Back. Ah. Right. There we go. Walk to doorway. Ah, this must be the bedroom of the lord of the castle. Now take a look at some stuff. You'll get some information, at least. No one's slept in this bed for ages. The sheets are coated with dust. Ew. Quite an impressive collection of books. Science, philosophy, tragedy, comedy. Take, use take book. Take, take on the books. Um, journal first. This looks like a diary. Read, read all the passages. The first passage reads, My new wife continues her rapid aging. Each day is as a year to her. I believe that the magic drains her, twists her. Second. The second passage reads, the incantations I hear from my wife's infernal workroom are the purest evil. Perhaps it is her hatred of my daughter that drives her up there. The third passage reads, Ellen grows weaker and weaker. My wife advises an antidote to her illness, but it lies very far away. I must assemble a caravan. The final passage reads, the forest has grown dark and overrun with dire wolves since my marriage. I doubt that even with a full complement of men, I shall return alive, but I must try. I get a feeling right, well, this, this guy is the lord of the castle. No. Oh, fair enough. Close journal and look at the other books. Don Quixote, Faust, Maldeltur, all. Any order? Any order, but top to bottom is I've read this logical. Novel. It's about a foolish old man who believes he's a knight destined to revive the golden age of chivalry. And then Faust. I know this story. 
It's about a magician who sells his soul to the devil in exchange for power. Oh, well, slight, we heard, uh, well, well, we heard that. Slight story correction, before. though. Slight correction, though. What? Faust is the opera. Dr. Faustus is the play. And book. Okay. But where have we heard it before? Well, I, my immediate thought is Johnny Blaze, who's a ghostwriter. Yep, that, that's, that's a big one. He is based on uh, Faust. Maldo this Dio. was one of my favorites. It's about how King Arthur assembled the most chivalrous knights in all Europe. This is Plato's dialogue about the nature of love. And the Divine Comedy. I know this. It's Dante's epic journey through hell, heaven, and purgatory. Now, I've read the Divine Comedy as much as anyone else has. You read... Dante, you read Inferno, and then you get bored, and then you don't touch the others. That's how most of it, how it usually goes. I'm not, yeah, I'm not a book reader. I'm more an audio book person. I'm sure an audio book might be more interesting. I'll try to find and seek one out. But that's enough books for now. Stop reading. And leave. Leave room. Um, back in here, maybe? No. There are other sides of the screen to check. Is, does the is there anything that way? Walk. Not that I can click. Well, on. you have it on look at. Oh, there we go. Oh yeah. Despite the medieval trappings, I've seen kitchens like this before. This is a place where servants do all the work. Talk to her. Excuse me. Do you work here? Why, of course I work here. Why else would I be plucking this chicken? Say, you're a handsome gent. There aren't many men left in these parts. She don't... I don't know why, but I detect a British tone from her. Yep. What happened to Ellen? Lady Ellen? Oh, well, she's been ill and that's all I know. It's not healthy to ask too many questions these days. Let's talk about you instead. Me? Is there a way to escape from this castle? Escape? With all of those wolves in the forest? Well, it's safer to stay in the castle. The beds are very cozy. You should try mine sometime. Okay, that's creepy. Mm -hmm. Where is Ellen's stepmother? You. I must speak with her. A word to the wise. Keep your nose out of the old woman's business unless you want it covered with warts. I wouldn't want to see any arm come to that gorgeous face of yours. Where can I find a mirror? What do you want with a mirror? Those are pretty rare, what with an ugly woman in charge of the castle. It was enchanting talking with you. My pleasure. You're not done. Come back later. And I'll show you just how good I am at pleasure. Ooh. Keep talking to her. Please, I need to find a mirror. And you are what I need. I'll make a deal with you. I will tell you where you can find a mirror if you spend some quality time in my bed. Do you, are you sure? Uh, wish for I don't know. Uh, no, not interested. Go for it. Try it. That's a flattering offer, but I'm not interested. I'll give you what you need. Hasn't it been too long for you? Hmm. It's it's. it's Pegging my interest to do this one, I'll be honest with you. <laughs> you haven't saved for a while. Sorry, but it's out of the question. What's the matter? Aren't I good enough for you? Not classy enough? Not rich enough? I'm sure you're a fine woman, but my heart belongs to another. So, you're in love with that thing sleeping in a bed? Have you ever been with one? Or are you just curious? I can make you so much 
happier I can, you know. Look, I am not going to make love with you. Oh, he said right. to the fr he said to the stove. I have another deal for you. The oven's broken. If you can fix it, I'll get you a mirror. Look at stove. I'm gonna. I don't think you can. Mm, yeah, save it. Look at stove. This oven is similar to the boilers I maintain in St. Louis. God, how I hated those days. Use boiler. Ah, there's the problem. I'll have this fixed in a jiffy. It's been so long since I've gotten dirt under my fingernails from good, honest work. I fixed your oven. Now where is the mirror? Sorry, I don't know where a mirror is, but at least now I can finish dinner. Why, you used me, you bitch! Just like you tried to use me, you snobby bastard. I'll bet you've used lots of women with your smug charm. You're nothing but a phony! Ouch. You have to use... Remember, door is closed. You have to open door if you want to go through door. The door's locked. That Push it. The door's locked. Oh, I'm so tempted to use this glass on her. <laughs> Try it. You saved. Mm, I'd only smear blood on it. Okay. Yeah, this oven is working as well as it's ever going to. Talk to her again. Please, I need to find a mirror. Well, you did fix the oven. Listen, the old woman knows where the mirror is, but she's afraid of it. She obviously can't get to it herself or she would have destroyed it by now. Where can I find the old woman? Where can I find the old woman? But you might try a bedroom. She's always studying her books. Doesn't go near the master's books, though. Never saw what those two had in common. All right, let's go. Go to the witch's bedroom. Which is what? Um... Right, right hand door. Look at the book. Take the books. This is a collection of books on the black arts. Take the books. Read all of the books. This is a catalog of the demons ruling the abyss. One of these entries is circled. Sergot, opener of locks. Supposedly, he can open anything. This is a catalog of the demons ruling the abyss. Too bad I can't read Arabic. From the notes in the margins, I gather it has something to do with opening a gate into another world. Oh! What? Okay, I just looked up Kitab al-Azif. Right. That is the Necronomicon. <laughs> How weird. The Lovecraft age. And, um... It's also in Assassin's Creed, apparently. What, the book of... The, 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 the yep. Book of, which, which one is it in? Mirage. Is it in Mirage? Mm-hmm. I don't remember being, it being in Mirage. Well, it doesn't summon the fucking army of the dead, but it is there. Fair enough. This book seems to be about how to change metals into gold. I've read a fair number of science textbooks, but I can't make head nor tail of any of these formulas. All right, that's enough for now. Maybe check in on Ellen, see how she's doing. Is Lady Ellen prepared? 
As ready as she will ever be. The spell keeps her body weak, but she will remain conscious. The art of sacrifice is reduced to science. And what of the glamour? We must wait for its removal. It remains beyond our best efforts. Then we wait for a prince. With his help, we can open the gate to the other world. Now, something I need to clarify. Yeah. Glamour in this case does not mean like beauty magazine shit. Glamour is um, it is a it is a magic spell that like uh, change alters the appearance of something. It is it is an illusion. Glamour is illusion. Right. Well, shit's gotten fucking real now. Who are you? I'm a devil, of course. Why else would I have this pointed tail? What do you want? Ellen's soul. That's a valuable commodity where I come from. Can you tell me where Ellen's mirror is? Sorry, I don't bother with such material things. They only bring about bad luck. You're a devil. You are bad luck. Who is this Sir God I've heard about? He's a minor spirit, a demon. Don't confuse him with those pathetic imps, or heaven forbid, higher order devils. Opener of all locks, indeed. It sounds like you really hate demons. You got that right. In fact, the only things we consider worse than those untrustworthy fellows are angels. Why have a crit? How can beings as powerful How do you as yourselves mean? stoop to fighting well, like school children? Devils. Well, it's like no, this, he hates boy. demons. In hell, oh, we do things right. exactly like you do them here, or used to do them before Am took over. Also, I need to clarify: he's not the devil. He is he's a just, devil. He's a devil. Yeah, he, he's surprisingly nice for a devil. Well, he's here for to take Ellen's soul to hell, so not not really. <laughs> Well, he, he, well, he's, he's not, yeah, well, normally, like, devils, like, are not, he seems pleasant for a devil, though, I say that. Are you saying that Am is in control of hell? Oh, don't look so surprised. Who else could be in control of this madhouse? Only man could create such a monster. Sorry. What do you mean that you do things like we do here? I mean that there are always internal struggles, petty conflicts for power. Only in this case, the struggles are between entities that you can't see, or might rarely see. That means serious problems for you. What problems can these unseen struggles cause for me? You must decide who is your friend and who is your enemy. And, remember, with Am's control over morphogenic fields, appearances mean nothing. Please, go away! Try to understand my position. I can't leave because there's an angel coming to take away her soul. If I step out and your friend croaks, the holy eunuch spirits the goods off to heaven. All right, back to the witch's room. Back to the books. Why, this is a collection of books on the black... Take the books. I think there's a new one. Yeah, there it is. This is a catalog nope, of the not demons. That one. Uh, not that one. Double, double, tall and travel. <laughs> yes, you're, you don't need to know about Nicholas Flamel's work anymore. <laughs> Luckily, I'm up on my Shakespeare, or I wouldn't have noticed this book about witches. Here's the spell that the witch must have cast on Ellen. The incantation is... Kala Ingma Thacko. Right. 
You got all you need. No, no, no. Go to the pentagram. What? Um, back in there? No. To the right. Oh, this. Okay. Yes. Look at look around a bit. Look at some stuff. I don't think I want to know what kinds of sermons were preached here. Look at the gargoyle on the on behind you. No, to the right. Look at the scots. Oh, God. It's so unlike Am to provide light when he knows how frightening the dark can be. Uh, he's up to something. Have you ever so seen a secret Am passage to before? to provide light when he knows uh, like he's Am? up. You know secret passages, right? Yeah. Like you pull out the, a certain book and then the passage opens. What's another common way of opening a secret passage? Like, uh, well, I would say a light and, or a lamp. Or well, a not, not to or light it, but what do you do to it? <laughs> um, I can't even think. Push the fucking sconce. Oh, yeah. <laughs> A secret passage? What's there. waiting for me up there? Bad shit, Ted. Let's go. It's the witch. What is she doing with her hands? Some kind of incantation, perhaps? Talk to her. What have you done to Ellen, you old witch? Ah, our prince has finally arrived. Now we can begin our ritual. Why do you both are valid. You prince? need to say both. <laughs> Isn't that who you want to be to Ellen, her prince charming? I need someone to gain her trust, to break down her defenses. It's a part you played many times in the real world. Real world? What ritual are you talking about? A sacrifice. A trade. Ellen's life in exchange for safe passage through the gate. What's this about a gate? The gate is a passage into the surface world. It is the only way out of this place. What's supposed to be my role in this ritual? I need you to destroy Ellen's mirror. She has been using it to keep me away from her. I want you to break it so that I can complete what I have started. Um, what's in it for me if I help you? <laughs> uh, oh, is one going to go bad if I choose the wrong one? No. So Not you yet. just want me to break the mirror? It is not that simple. The mirror holds great power. It can be broken only within the magic circle. Why can't you destroy the mirror yourself? I am aging rapidly, and despite my powers, I am a slave to vanity. I can't bring myself to look into the mirror. Where is Ellen's mirror? It is on her dressing table. I looked on Ellen's dressing table. The mirror's not there. You must find that mirror. It has great magical properties. Without it, I cannot guarantee that I can complete the ceremony. Why can't you open the gate without the mirror? There are others who have an interest in Ellen's fate. That mirror may be the only way to keep meddlers from interfering. What if I can't find the mirror? Then go to the devil! What's in it for me if I help you? An opportunity to escape Am's tortures forever. No, not that one. Not that one. Okay. Um... I ought to kill I will never help you as a good option, so as I ought to kill you instead. 
So that one isn't a good one. That is, but you later. I ought to kill you instead. Oh, do we fancy ourselves the Avenging Knight? My magic is much more powerful than any physical force you can muster. Be gone! Talk to her. I will never help you. I will never help you. Then do it for Ellen. Release her from her misery, destroy the mirror, and perhaps you can both escape from here. Uh, I don't know sleeping spell. I know all about the sleeping spell you cast on Ellen, and I'm prepared to use it on you. Foolish mortal. You don't have the ability to use the spell properly. Oh dear. Mm-hmm. I can't remember what it was. Kala Ingma Thako, second one. Oh, don't I? Kala Ingma Thako. Oh, I suddenly feel so, so sleepy. I appreciate the kind of Evil Dead reference. She's unconscious, I hope. Klaatu, Verata. <laughs> All right, I said it. Can I use the car right, take... on her? No. no. Take the truck. Well, oh. You can try, but it's gonna be it's gonna disappoint you. <laughs> use glass on which? I'll save it first. I'd only smear blood on it. Yeah, he doesn't even think about killing her. Just also, you. I I need to tell you the next step. Go on. Take the witch. Take the witch. Take the witch. Okay, never. It's not. It's not at this point. Then fair enough. So I leave this place then. So, do you want to call it here, or do you want to do, do, see some wild shit? How, how much more we've got until the end of this section? Mm, a bit. Okay. No, I think we'll we'll leave it there, then. Alright, then I have been Merrick D'Amato. And I've been Classic Gamer. And not so happy Halloween. Uh, Halloween. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> Ciao. Ciao.